Hello guys and welcome back to the Toffee Blues, your source for all things Everton. Once again I'm Greg and this is the starting 11 show. Uh, relegation scrap against Leeds of course. Next up, off the back of a bad Merseyside derby loss, we looked much much worse against Liverpool than we did against Arsenal. Um, you know, you can stomach a defeat in these circumstances. Um, when the performance is good, but we looked uh, really uh, naive against Liverpool. Um, you know, they score two passes from us hitting the post, just um, almost as though we don't understand uh, what Liverpool do well. You know, they counter-attack and, and we left ourselves horrendously exposed to that. Yeah, Pickford uh, has very bad positioning, but, you know, irregardless in that situation, it looked like a, a three-on-one anyway. So we left ourselves far too exposed at the back. Um, I think Sims looked um, isolated. I don't want to, you know, Premier League uh, start, very surprised start handed to him. I don't want to dig him out and say he wasn't good enough. I, I think he looked incredibly isolated and, and it's hard for a striker to shine at all uh, when he's left like that. I think it's easier for calvert Lewin when he's isolated because he has this physicality to his game. Uh, he brings a ball down well and, and we did, we saw that against Arsenal Um I, I think it was key that we were able to, to, to hook the ball up to him. Uh, Pickford so precise with his distribution. Um, and and we were flooding the areas around him when that was happening. But I don't think uh, Sims quite had the same presence, had, had the same effectiveness. And because of uh, Liverpool's threat, we just weren't able to commit bodies around him and, and give him the support he needed. Uh, so even if he did knock down a ball, there was no out ball for him then to play it onto. So... Um, Big big questions as to what we do here in terms of news. Cabot Lewin still not fit. Um, Garner and Patterson will be playing with the under twenty one, so they've stepped up their recovery. Clearly, I think Patterson is a um, straight back into the team. Uh, Garner could be an interesting one. I'd, I'd definitely be interested to see if he gets deployed. But the big question mark is, and and you know, third game of a new manager, we, we're yet to know how much he will chop and change things based on how badly it worked last time out. I think we will see some changes. I would personally advocate for some changes. Um, certainly in the attacking personnel, I think um, the defensive third largely looks the same. Uh, so Pickford in goal, of course. Uh, Coleman at right back, whilst we have no options. Uh, Cody and Tarkovsky and Mikalenko now, of course. Uh, a lot of people are saying, let's get Godfrey straight in and... I, I very much see Deitch doing that uh, either now or long term for the rest of the season. I think Godfrey um, offers a lot more of what he will want in a fullback. Uh, I could even have seen Holgate coming in uh, and, and taking one of these spots, but um, I, I just imagine if, they, if there's going to be many changes up front, will he change it all at the back? I'm not sure. Um, I, it, it scares me to my core. Um, there's some slow men in this back line and Leeds have some very, very dynamic and capable um, forward players, direct, um, unforgivingly direct. And I think Coleman particularly is going to suffer. So Godfrey out on the right. I like it. Um, do I think Deitch will do it? I don't think so, but I, I think it would probably be the smart play to put Godfrey there. Uh, and I think he would deal with um, deal with the Leeds threat a lot better. Uh Gay and Anana can't see that being changed. That feels like it's pretty cemented, but Decore in front of them, I'm not so sure. I'm not so sure at all. Um, here would be my first change. I think we might see a Wobi move inside, um, be slightly more of a creative presence. I, I think we know whilst Calvert Lewin's out, and I hope uh, Deitch realizes that whilst Calvert Lewin is out, as I'm saying, we aren't going to be able to play the same way as when he's fit. I think that's you know that would be insane uh, to keep playing up and expect Ellis Sims or Neil Malpai to feel to fill those boots. Um, so I, I think we'll have to to look for a slightly different style of play. Um, maybe it'll look more like a four four two here, but um, I think Awobi will be much more of a creative presence to stitch in play with whoever is in front of him. Uh, I think we'll look to play through the lines a lot more than just uh, play a bit of hoof ball, which which we did at times against Arsenal very effectively. Um, so I put a Wobi in there, full of legs, full of running, uh, was probably 
the shining star of the the, the Lampard era was playing in this role. So, so it'd be it'd be interesting to see if he can um, he can fill that position. Keep McNeil out on one side. Uh, he's looked better in terms of delivery um, from a slightly deeper position. He's not as good from the byline, but where he can really curl a ball in, it looks like a, a somewhat of a creative renaissance for him. Um, then out on the other side, of course, if Awobi's inside, that means we need uh, another player. Uh, Damari Gray is who I would advocate for. As I said, it's not going to be the same style of football if Calvert-Lewin was fit. So I think Gray, um, firstly, I think he has the legs for the, the pressing, for, for keeping a high line. I think he will be able to help us create overloads more to, to actually be on the scene. Um, Hassel and Harry defenders, I, I can see him and Dewobi, um sort of doubling up on players up there and causing a bit of trouble. Uh, plus, he just is an injection of speed that we so desperately need in this team. I think uh, Awobi, tricky, difficult player, not quite as fast. So, so it'd be nice to have Gray out um, as, as a wide midfielder. Then up front, do we stick with Sims? I, I hate the idea of dropping him because... Um, it's a bit of a confidence knock, isn't it? Recall from loan, put into the first team, doesn't score, straight out again. Um, do I think we should drop him? I reckon for this one, probably not to start. Um, as I said, I think he was more... The, the idea that I think failed against Arsenal was to have him step into Calvert-Lewin's boots. Uh, so my opinion here is, is drop him, put Malpai in and have him and Awobi playing a little closer to each other, just prevent that awful, awful isolation that we had against Arsenal that meant we created very little uh, other than from set pieces. So I think that would be my team. Pickford, uh, I'm going to make a last minute change. Pickford, Godfrey, Cody Tarkovsky, Mikolenko, Adrisa Gay, Anana, Awobi just in front with the wide midfielders being Damari Gray, Neil Malpai, uh, not Neil Malpai, Damari Gray, Dwight McNeil and Neil Malpai up front. Um, a lot of points of contention there, of course. Does Decore deserve to be dropped? Um, does Coleman deserve to be dropped? Does Sims deserve to be dropped? They're the three big questions. Um, did any of the cameo appearances against Liverpool impress you enough to drop them in? Did, did Tom Davis do something wonderful for you? Um, I don't know. Um, it's all very up in the air still with Deitch. Until we can stitch together a few decent games, I think he will like to and try to experiment a little bit. So, there we go. Let me know what you think of that team. What would you go with? What would you change? Do you think we stand a chance?